Yeah, I heard word around town is a popping now. A Yo, what is up everybody? It is the King Hitman here and as you can see, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure that we show his defense because we do have to we're going to talk a lot about this guy's defense right here. But in the third slot for the biggest disappointment of the year, we start off with this STR Gohan. Now, this STR Gohan animations not the worst. I mean, could have been better, right? But they didn't have much to work with. We're here to even bash his car. We're not even here for his animations or anything like that surface level you look at this guy hp recovery he's a support unit he has a, a multiplicative buffs right he greatly raises attack on a super attack but he does not raise his defense which is a critical error on whoever made this card part of it. whoever signed off on this we're not going for it so let's break this guy down when you look at him the reason i put him in my bronze slot for these dokkan awards and i want to say what this title is but i want to be careful i don't know i don't know how tubi's gonna react all right so let me let me walk lightly but yes yeah, so with the understanding that this guy he's on so many teams i feel as though if he was just made to be a unit i don't know if it would have been guard damage reduction dodge whatever if he had performed the way we needed him to perform and more specifically the way the android slash cell saga team or heavenly events team master evolution team the tech trunks team whatever team you're running him on if he was able to perform on those categories and he was able to perform on a more general set of the game at a high level because you can't take him anywhere difficult he's absolutely terrible he could have fixed a lot for this year i mean in a time where it seems like banner units are very hit or miss like they're never average banner units are either very very good or very very trash and this guy he clearly fits on the lower rungs for banner units to come out in 2023 he just disappointed all of us in a time where this is right before worldwide we're trying to figure out what the theme is gonna be and we look at this guy and we're like hmm you know what, easing into the second half of the year, maybe banner units just aren't gonna be it this year. <laughs> and there's a lot of iffy banner units. There's, a, there's certainly good ones, right? There's, they're not all bad, STR Krillin. You look at, um, who, who am I thinking of? I almost said the STR Mai. I know people get mad, but I think the STR Mai is okay. I think the unit could have been better for sure, right? And we have other units that, when you break down what they are they have a role this guy has a role he just does not fulfill it at all so we're gonna leave him there i don't even want to keep talking about him i ain't gonna lie i gotta i gotta chill because i got other units to bet this is probably gonna be my favorite one because i get to be freely negative this is probably my favorite award i ain't gonna lie greg did his thing all right let's keep going man let's look at what this guy does all right here we go next up i will tell y'all this one is actually going to catch a lot of people off guard, but I have very, very focused frustration with the tech future trunks from Worldwide. He is a sub EZA. He's the armor trunks. You guys know, right? He has one job. This is my issue with him. This is my concern with him and my frustration with him and why me and him have personal, personal beef. He had to make this list. Now, as I was saying, as this guy is so atrocious and why I have beef with him is because he's only meant at the time of his release, right? We're in a different fight. We're in red zone cell when I'm recording this, but he's only meant for one fight. And it's not this cell. It's red zone first form cell. Now, what does that incline you to believe that, oh, he must be absolutely spectacular. He's atrocious in there. He has no purpose. He gets one shot by any form of super attack. He can't take damage from normals until he's attacked multiple times. He's absolutely garbage. We hate this Trunks. He's a terrible sub EZA. He was one of those units. He was just doomed. Like you could see it in his build. You know, the skeleton of an EZA, of a 120 unit before the EZA. You can sometimes be like, yeah, this unit's not going to make any progress as a release. Like they're just not. It doesn't matter what you do for their upgrade. He was one of those cards, but then you look at him and you're like, huh, actually, they might finagle, you know, a little bit of, of sprinkle, a little bit of a roll in here for him. Like I told you guys earlier, you just look for a roll with a lot of these units, and he is terrible in his role also, so we got to take out our frustration on him in this video. I've really been holding this in for a couple of months. This guy specifically, because I think his super attack is cool. I love the heat dome attack. I hope it gets like a revamp or like, you know, they're... They've said in the past that they're not scared to reuse animations. This guy's animations aren't like top, top tier, right? But I wouldn't be opposed to them making a new Heat Dome attack trunks and 
Lord knows, based on the quality of this unit right here, we still kind of need one. It's crazy, man. All right, last and absolutely the least because he is, well, they are, you know, the twins. They're disgusting, despicable. It absolutely just, oh, man. <sighs> Nova and Ice. This one, this one stings because they are applicable to teams that, you know, they're not on a massive amount of teams like the STR Gohan and in third place, but they're so necessary for the couple of teams that they are on. Don't get me started on their performance, bro. I mean, you look at them and it's like, oh, they orb change and they have the ability to do additionals and maybe they can, no, they can't. Whatever you think they can do for you, they can't do it. They're not capable of doing it. They're too restricted. They're they're too niche. They're too awkward. They, they don't perform at a high level. They don't defend at a high level. They don't attack at a high level. The, it, everything on the table that could have been here for an, an this is an anniversary banner unit right like this is a featured unit on an anniversary banner and for some reason the last couple of years dokkan has been going out their way to make oh for more than a couple of years now actually dokkan's been going out their way to make sure anniversary banner units are just are they all garbage? I mean, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. It feels like they're all garbage. I can't think of an exception since like year five or so. Because, uh, please, 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 please. If you walk away with one thing from this Dokkan Award selection that I made for my top three or my bottom three. I mean, these guys are so shitty, man. Just know that Nova and Ice are, if they were decent, it would make LR Omega, like, okay, tolerable, right? Like, if they were a decent unit and they filled the option of maybe they're the worst unit on your team when you build the GT bosses team, maybe we could be like, um, I mean, sure, you know, like, they, they're serviceable, but they're not. They're not. So if you walk away with one thing, one more, one life lesson, never, ever let Akatsuki cook banner units during anniversary. Don't set expectations. Don't believe. Whenever you find out what the banner unit is going to be, because remember, their counterpart is Super Saiyan 3, Gotenks, and Piccolo. Whatever they're, they're doing for anniversary, when it comes to year nine, just make sure your expectations are at the bare, bare minimum. I'm very disappointed in these three units. I want you guys to know that these are the biggest pieces of shit of 2023. Shout out Greg Daw. Shout out the homies. 2023 Dokkan Awards. Oof, man, I ain't gonna lie. I really, I really held back. I'm proud of myself. I could have went him, and I, <laughs> I had a good time, man. Hitman is off this.